Hey, this is Ben from Interabot, and today I'm going to go over fixing an entire website's worth of spelling errors. So the first thing you got to do is come over to Interabot and uh, grab a download. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I like to uh, download and install just to show how easy it is to do. So that's a couple seconds there, a couple seconds here. How about that? We're off to the races. And uh, I'm just going to turn dark mode on. So I'm going to be working on my own site, Intero.bot. takes just a minute. So what's happening now is Interabot app is crawling the Interabot website. And uh, you can see on the right there's a log of all the pages and assets getting downloaded. It's already done. So it took a took a whole 29 seconds. If it were a bigger site it would take longer. So don't expect the same results. However, uh, if we come over here, this is the reports and we can go to spell check. There are plenty of other reports that I'd love to show you, but today we're just going to look at spell check. Okay, so let me go over the form options for spell check. You've got a couple options for global filters. Um, you can knock out numbers and punctuation. And especially if you've got like a technical website, these are, these are pretty important because otherwise you'll get noise, versioning, stuff like that. You've also got some language options. It's not just uh, English only. Under per page, you can select how many results you want per page and then report. Under edit dictionary, there's nothing in there now because I haven't built up a dictionary. But we'll get back to that. I'm just going to run the report. And you can see that there are 398 total results, possible misspellings. We're going to have to narrow that down. I can just knock this out, get a better view here. The first thing I like to do in this spell check is to reverse sort by total and then start adding to my dictionary. That's generally the most efficient way to go about it. So like, for example, so for example, Interobot is mentioned 335 times across the content and 15 times just on the index page. So I can just add this to the dictionary. The misspelling results will be radically reduced. We'll see. Well, I guess it wasn't that radical. Another a uh, piece of jargon, SEO, instead that, YouTube, DevTool, Site Manager is a product name, Nginx, Astra, Web Pages. PDF is interesting because there is a consistency issue. Sometimes when it's a file extension, it should be lowercase, but when it's like a PDF as a document should be uppercase. So there's some nuance here. I'm just going to knock that out. Dev, that's jargon. Okay, so here, here we got an actual issue. Broken my own brand rules here. So let's take a look if see if we can fix these. Yeah, let's copy this. And we'll open this page. See if we can find I don't see it there. So maybe it is in the HTML. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to match case. And there's two of them. 230 and 225. So let's find those. Uh, I think I need to go up here, news. 
And for me, I'm just going to head in here, head to the edit, fix that, save it. And then I'll find 230. Okay, we could run the crawler again right now. So after all that, we're down to 154. So it's getting a little bit more manageable. So at this point, with Interobot corrected, I could recrawl and then rerun. In fact, let's just do it, because it will help explain how this works. Because it is an iterative loop. But this is coming to a close here. Down the last five. Here we go. So let's head back and run it. And you'll see that we need to resort it here. But Interobot is gone because those issues have been addressed. Nginx is a trade name. No robots, pseudo. Here, let's expand that. I think I'm just going to assume these are fine. Sortable looks good to me. InLinks is definitely jargon, web pages, CMS, and URL. Should it always be up, uppercase? Well, no, because I can actually see in the context. So here's where the Interobot spell check really shines. Um, just like in, in Google, how you get those little snippets of text that pull out the context, Interobot does the same thing. So I can see URL in this case is a um, it's re a reference to search. So if I go here, it's referencing this where I can say CSS or whatever. But um, yeah, URL is looking good. Zgrep, jargon, licensing. So with licensing, we've got a misspelling. And um, it's on the account page, which I know to be outside of the content management system. So I'm going to go over into my website, uh, HTML files. And it looks like it's in there twice. I'm also going to make sure that that's the correct spelling. Looks good. Okay. Okay, so that is that. Let's head back to Interabot. I'll have to push those changes up later on. But we're going to leave this licensing up because it could be a problem. We want to make sure it's gone later on. Donut, I am completely fine with. I know that there's a more common spelling of donut, but... A little bit of regionality doesn't disturb me. Web page we're adding to our dictionary. Let's get donut in there. href is fine. UI is jargon. AdWords. Okay, it's not a misspelling, but I'm pretty sure it's wrong. I think Google changed to... Yeah, it's just Google Ads now. And this is in SEO tools. Again, these are HTML templates, so I'm going to... I'm going to search that way and we're going to leave that in there. 
We already took care of AdWords. We took care of licensing. Source is fine. Retrospective. Where is the S? We need an S in there. So we just open that up, search for it, and I know that, at least in my case, I've got an edit button there that I can go to. And let's get a retrospective in there. Perfect. All right, we're going to head back. SEM is jargon. Auth. That looks good. HTTPS, Outlinks, Loopback, JSON, UWP, PII, XPath, Mac OS, Repo. These are all fine. These are all trade names or... Oh, here we go. We got another one. We got a live one. Yeah, I thought we already fixed this. Looks good. Let's keep going. Upsell, that's good. Vimeo. Yeah, I'm going to let these go. Uh, off. Okay, I think I might, for stylistic reasons, I think I might want to change the case on these. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, leaderboards, that's good. SCP, that's a Linux command. More Linux commands. Yeah, let's fix this one too. That's already fixed. SERP, jargon, that really should be capitalized. Okay, so HTML was throwing me for a loop until I saw Icon. Again, saved by context, right? I'm pretty sure that this is uh, image alt. So, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to search for node graph. And then I am going to... Get that straight and let's clear all this stuff out. Bring back in Terabot and that is done. Man, messed up with spelling licenses. All right, here we go. All right, done and done. Uh, distributable, merchantability, non-infringement. Now we get some legalese. Aberdeen is a place, well, it's actually a, a project, but um, it's fine. Reindex, uncrawlable, SSL. This all looks pretty good. Wayback Machine, JS. I'm fine with these. These are jargon. Ooh, shit. Okay, so I was going too fast there, and uh, I accidentally clicked a misspelling of JavaScript. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, I'm just going to make a mental note. I'm at number 15, but. Um, Come up here and we edit the dictionary and uh, let's just get rid of that. A 
update it. Now we'll re report. And we're about at 15, I think. So is this is what we're doing. That's the one we just messed up. Well, you didn't do it. That's the one I just messed up. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and fix that. Actually, you know what? This is imprecise. It's actually JavaScript rendering. So there we go. Save. Blobs, fine, localhost, localhost. Okay, so now we're, I mean, we're down to 51 uh, total. I guess we should just keep going. We're going to add it. DLDR, we can be a little informal, that's fine. This is not good because Ceph is, uh, that's Chrome embedded framework. And um, that should really be capitalized. So let's fix that. So as you can see, uh, it's really just a, a process. You just go through it. Support. That ain't good. That's unprofessional. Let's fix it. Need a second second P in there. All right. I think those should be capitalized. At least the way I'm looking at them. Uh, JS mail to, we're going to let that slide. Terabot, that's fine in that context because we've got user agent. So now we're down to this last line. It's kind of difficult not having visibility, but we'll just keep clicking till we see something. Okay, API. This should be capitalized. All right, here we go. Done and done. Let's come back here. We're going to leave that in because it should be fixed. Curd, I think that's two R's. Of course, it's in an HTML file. As you can see, you just, you know, just one by one. You just take it one at a time. Then you get some trade names in here. I already know that I dealt with AdWords. So this feels like the sixth or seventh time I've seen this. And the reason these keep coming up is that they're in a side panel. So like each news item has like a latest news. So that's where that's all coming from. When the site is re-indexed, these should go away. We will validate that. Uh, we already know, I thought we already dealt with all these licensing ones. Look at all these spelling errors in, in the privacy policy. Jeez. Okay. Is there anything else that's obvious? Support? I think we already got that one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to commit all my, my changes to HTML. I'm going to push it up to the website. And I will be back in just a second. 
So I just deployed the HTML fixes and the other fixes that are in the content management system are all in, in place. So I think it's time to, to head back to the crawler and do a little recrawl. Okay, so we're done and we'll head back to our spell check. Okay, so we're down to 19. Let's see what we got. Let's fix this. I'm going to make it one more. Pretty sure that's how it is. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Die Hearts comes back. Let's just do one, hopefully, final crawl here. Okay, so it looks like everything's good, but uh, this is good because I made a mistake. I I just looked up Die Hard and I thought Die Hard, I could just compound them together and it'd be fine. But uh, apparently that's not right. But luckily, I can just modify the dictionary here. I can find Die Hards. I can remove that. Rerun the report and here it is. It's back. And now I can pop open that URL, get to the edit, and put it back the way it was, because I jumped the gun there. So with Die Hard's fixed, uh, I could go back and recrawl just to prove to everybody <laughs> that it's back to no results, but I don't need to do that, and you probably don't want to watch that. Um, but I, I definitely think if you like what you see, come to, come over to Interabot and uh, give it a try. There's a lot more to it than spell check. Uh, check out some of the other videos. And um, yeah, have a great day.